What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a MacBook Air Smackdown Battle Royale. On the left hand side we've got the outgoing MacBook Air. This is the 2010 refresh model, the first year that we got the tapered design. Uh, it's got a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo chip, 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabyte solid state drive. And on the right we've got the new hotness. This is the 11.6 MacBook Air with the Core i7 processor. Uh, it's got four gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes in the solid state drive. So we're gonna bash these two head to head, not literally, uh, and see which one comes out on top or comes out on top by how much. Let's get started. Okay, so let me give a few caveats here. First, this guy has not been upgraded to Lion. It is still running Snow Leopard and has been used for about a year. And this guy, of course, is indeed running Lion. Uh, I have not done any of these tests yet, so I'm actually kind of curious myself. Uh, I upgraded because I wanted faster video encoding and faster video exporting. Uh, when I'm at trade shows or events, being able to export videos quickly uh, is extremely important. So let's go ahead and start with the most simple of all tests, and this is the simple boot up. Now this one has been used for about a year, so you know it's got a whole bunch of files on it and all that business. So keep that in mind, a very unscientific test. So I will go ahead and hit the power button at exactly the same time. Let's go ahead and see which one's quicker. And obviously these are both the 11.6 inch models. So we see the screen on the new one boot up first, but we see the Apple logo on the old one boot up first. This could also be, I guess, a lion versus snow leopard comparison. And... Looks like the old one booted up first. And now I'm being prompted to enter my password. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, but we saw things first on the older model, which is kind of interesting. All right, password has been entered off screen because I know you guys got some sneaky eyes. Uh, let's go ahead and launch iMovie. We'll quit out of this. Quit Skype right. All right, so we got nothing open on either computer. I'm gonna go ahead and launch iMovie and I'll launch both of them at the same time, or at least as close as I can get. And they should have exactly the same file queued up in there, ready to go. So I'll go ahead and open that up. All right, so they are both clicked, and surprisingly, it opened up first on, we can do thumbnails later, opened up first on the old version of the MacBook Air. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, so both of these have the same video um, same length, same amount of time, all queued up here uh, in each. Actually, the one on the right doesn't have the Techno Buffalo intro, so we're gonna pull that out. Uh, all the settings are exactly the same, so I go to Share, and I'll go ahead and Export using QuickTime. I'll do the same thing here, Share, Export using QuickTime. All the settings are exactly the same. You can sort of see that right there if you can want to zoom in on your computer, uh, or just take my word for it, the settings are exactly the same. So we'll go ahead and hit OK on each. We'll hit OK on this one. And we will hit export and see which one is quicker. I'm gonna save this to the desktop. That'll make things a lot easier. Uh, it's about a two minute and 34 second video. I couldn't show the importing of this clip because I was importing with the camera. I will say that for about a two minute and 30 second clip on the outgoing MacBook Air, the older model, uh, it took about six and a half minutes. On the new model, uh, about three minutes were shaved off to about three and a half minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and hit save and see what it tells me for export times. This is really the big, the big test for me. Uh, I never thought the outgoing MacBook Air was slow at all. The only time I even noticed a little bit of slowdown uh, was with doing what I'm right now, uh, video exporting. So it's telling me 32 minutes for exporting the project here. Hopefully you guys can, uh, can see that. 32 minute countdown on the old model and on the new model, it's telling me 10 minutes. So look, looking like we are just about uh, three times as fast, which is extremely uh, helpful. Uh, and hopefully to make things even faster, and this is gonna be the subject of another video, I've got one of these guys. And this, more on this will be coming uh, soon. That should speed up the process even more. And you can already see the status bar moving much quicker on the outgoing model than the new one. Uh, and for me personally, that's what matters most is that saving of 20 minutes. Uh, when you're at a show or an event, you're trying to export you know, two or three videos at a time, being able to save 20, 40, you know, 60 minutes uh, is huge, especially when they need you out of the event area very quick or you're trying to get something uh, uploaded as quickly as possible. Uh, that can be just a giant benefit. 
Uh, so this might be a leopard versus snow leopard comparison. Uh, iMovies are the same, but this is a, a huge, huge benefit for me. Uh, this is what I really wanted to show on this comparison. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and for all your MacBook Air coverage, uh, be sure to stick around to technobuffalo.com. And if something that you want to see between either these two laptops or just a new one in particular, uh, let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.